Welcome to Live Life and Win. I'm Madison Hill, and we invite you to join us on our great life adventure as we explore how to live life and win. And I'm Eric Keys, and on each episode of Live Life and Win, we'll feature inspirational stories demonstrating how the combination of a hard work ethic, discipline, commitment, and perseverance can allow teens to live life and win. We have liftoff. This week on Live Life and Win. My name is William Barnett. I am 17 years old, and I live life and win by composing music and making movies. My name's Carrie Poindexter. I'm 14 years old, and I live life and win by fighting for air. I'm Kara Homolock. I'm 18 years old, and I try to live life and win every day. We begin this week with not just a lost star, but a teen doing something not too many people can do. He's a storyteller, but not the kind we normally think of. He tells stories a different way, through music. Take a look and listen. William Barnett is deep in thought. He's doing something that most teens wouldn't even try to do. This 17-year-old is composing music. I feel like what really defines me is my creative side. My mind is constantly overflowed with new ideas for songs and music and movies and story ideas. Another thing that sets William apart is his determination. I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to make mistakes. I'd rather see myself fail than say, I'm just going to quit. I'm going to give up. It's important to never quit because you will never really make it in life. There's that old saying, a winner never quits and a quitter never wins and it's really true. William knew he had a gift when he was 10. Not too many kids these days even attempt to compose music. Composers write music, but it's more than that. We don't just put notes together for the sake of putting notes together. We want to get an impact out of people. We want to make people feel something. I have different methods for composing music. One is writing by hand without the use of the piano or other instruments. And I feel like it's great that I can do it anywhere. He considers himself a natural. One day, he just started doing it. I really taught myself. It just came to me. And I had started taking piano lessons. And I began to notice patterns in the notation. One day when I was waiting for my piano teacher, I decided I wanted to try writing a piece of my own. And I did, and I discovered how much I love composing. And he really hasn't stopped. It's more than an art form for William. It defines who he is. It empowers him. I love that it's a form of expression. It allows me to just be myself, and it allows me to like create my own worlds. I am the boss, and it's whatever I want. Did it take you a while to get the hang of putting together songs, or did you get it right away? My pieces started out simple, but as I kept writing, I saw progress, and I learned more and more about writing songs. And how many songs do you think you've put together since then? I had to give a number, probably a good 50 or something, maybe more like 100. So why is creativity so important to you? It can be therapy, it's a great way to vent my feelings. It can be inspired by anything that's going on in my life. And then especially getting to the end of the process, having my music performed by live musicians in front of an audience, it's just the satisfaction. It's the best feeling in the world. This is usually where I work on my composition stuff. It gives me a lot of space to really spread out. What are we gonna do today? I wanna try something cool. I wanna document like a day of your life. What did you do when you got up this morning? A uh, quick workout and I ate some cereal. What are you doing now? I'm going to see how I can document the tone of getting up and eating cereal. Like, were you in a good mood? Were you in a bad mood? Like, were you excited to get up? Definitely that one, definitely excited. Always excited to wake up. And so the tone of the story affects um, the notes that you choose for the composition. Yes, the notes, the harmonies, the keys, and the like rhythms and structures. After working out, what did you do? Did you head on to work? I hopped in my car and did an hour drive. Very boring. So what part of the story are we working on now? I'm working on a chromatic scale, just going like da, 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 da. Like that old uh, trombone 
run, you always heard in the car terms like the wah, 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 wah. What did you do once you got to work? I danced like crazy. Lots and lots of dancing. What's next in the story? I had a delicious lunch with shrimp and lots and lots of vegetables with three really cool guys. So I can imagine that was a lot more calmer than dancing, right? A little more calmer, it's still exciting. We threw some food at each other. So now I see you're using completely different notes. Yes. I'm also trying to incorporate this melody and just varying it a little bit to give me the correct tone. So what did you do after lunch? I watched an orchestra and then I drove back home. And I'll give like a classical coda ending, like the dun, dun, dun. Now I'm going to plug it into my synthesizer. I'm going to plug it in as a piano. So as he's programming my song, my excitement is building. A day in the life of Eric Keys. Who would have guessed? Now I'm gonna record that. Here it is, a day in the life of Eric Keys. This is you getting up, eating breakfast, working out, your long and boring drive to work, your dancing session, lunch, food fight, parade, orchestra, drive home, call it a day. That was amazing. That's, Thanks. That sounds like if my life had a soundtrack, exactly what it would sound like. <laughs> William has lots of proud moments in his life, but one stands out. Probably the happiest moment was when I was in eighth grade, I won the Smart Kids Award, which is an award that awards kids with learning disabilities and learning differences that have not only overcome them, but also exceeded way past them. The message in my speech was to tap into your own strengths and be able to use your disadvantages to your advantages. If something's holding you back, don't let it hold you back. I think my ultimate goal in life is to pursue a great career in whatever it may be, music or movies or writing or some combination of the three and maybe become the next Steven Spielberg or John Williams. He's already directed one movie and trying to figure out his next move. Nice song, Eric. A day in your life. Thanks. Up next, one teen trying to do something we all take for granted. We'll show you his fight and tell you why he does it. Plus, she's turning pillows into hugs. See how she's there for women when they need her most. Live life and win, we'll be right back.